because obviously I didn't share my screen. Let me make sure I shared it this time. There we go. Entire screen. Ignore the rest of what I'm doing. Um, so I'll show you. This is a blog post with the code. So let me go to my local to show you what it actually looks like when it's running. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can um, show you what it what it is. So I just installed uh, Elementor, Elementor Pro, and Hello, obviously. Um, there might be some other things because I didn't check the default install, to be honest. Uh, I just did a clean local install. I'm guessing there's like the 2020, 2019 stuff, but I'm running Hello, as you can see. Plugins I'm running is just Elementor Pro and Elementor, per the usual. And what I did was I used, I on the homepage, you, I'll show you now, just give it a second. So it's 837 right now on my local machine here. Because this um, server is local, it's using my computer's time. So give it a minute to like switch out and I'll, and I'll show you um, exactly what I did. Because I wasn't showing my screen before. I should have noticed, but I didn't. Because I just wanted to quickly do it be done with it but let me share my screen just so you can see i'm just waiting for the minute to pass and um so you can see that it does actually change without me refreshing i'm not touching any buttons in case you're wondering i'm just letting it refresh itself okay the code that i have on the post on the blog post is um is without seconds and as you see it's switched so now i can show you what's going on on the elemental side here okay so the only thing i have if you look at the navigator is Basically, just a section. Uh, it's a one column, basically, and I have two HTML blocks. The one contains JavaScript, which is block one of my blog post. If you look at it, this is the block I have in there. And I can quickly show you a little trick. And then on the second HTML block, the only thing I have is one line, a div. And I mentioned this div in the jQuery code. That's why you need to add it. And I wanted to differentiate between JavaScript and HTML, so I used two HTML blocks. So now, let me show you a little, uh, little trick here. So let's say, for some insane reason, that I wanted to uh, maybe, instead of it having, like, uh, I wanted to, to have like an AMPM sort of thing. So I had a variable that showed AMPM. So I'm going to uncomment that. Okay. It doesn't work yet because I need to put it in the output, which I, I didn't. So uh, now I can add it. I'm guessing. Uh, what was the variable name? The variable name was time of day. Time of day so now you can see that it says 8 p.m let's say that i wanted to show 20 40 meaning 24 hours um, time then i could do had a variable for this too i know that the based on the request it didn't seem like the person wants that but if this was a clock it should have the ability to do 24 hours right so for me to do that I think it was online. Uh, where was it? Where was it? These are just variables to get first off the current time in your server, the current hours, the current minutes, uh, and then obviously the current seconds, which I've taken off, but I can I can add them if I do like if I do another addition, I can say okay. So 
uh, I can go down to the output, which is on line 23, and I can say add a string that has a double dot. Uh, put it in the wrong place, obviously. So I'll steal it. I'll put it in the right place, which is before the AMPM thing. Right? Uh, um, I'm trying to add seconds. So, yes. Uh, oh, watch out for the plus signs. I don't actually need a space there yet. But, okay. And then I need um, the seconds. Uh, which is current seconds, like up, 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 current current. Be careful, current seconds. Uh, but I did something wrong here. Okay, that needs a plus there. And it also needs a space, so I need to do tap, tap, space, plus. Anyway, you, you can fiddle with it because basically you have everything you need to do whatever it is that you want to do. So, oops, I got double spaces now, don't I? For example, I could put the space on here. I could do so this has a space before this I don't really need this space do I but I might want a space for PM so I'll put it here but did I add it in the wrong place again yes be careful with these plus signs because I'm fiddling with it I'm breaking it okay so now it's like a normal clock, right? And you can actually tell it's moving because I have the seconds in. But now, the, the request didn't want the seconds, so I'm, I'm removing that. And it also didn't want the AM, PM thing, so I'm removing those. And actually, I have to now remove the, the this here. Boom, boom. There we go. There we go. And basically that's it. But what I don't want to show you is if I needed a 24 hour um, 24 hour version of this. The only thing I need to do is go to line 10. Uh, um, is it line 10? Hang on, let me figure out where I was. Not line 10 actually. This is without the 24 hour. So here. I can just comment out line 17. Is it? Wait. Uh, it's not uh, current hours. Is this what I was looking for? Line 20. Let me see if I'm doing this right. I must have messed up something. Let me go grab uh, my code for a second here. For my, because I must have tapped something that I shouldn't have. So I'll just quickly grab this because this is the code that I mocked up. And I know this was a working version, so she should be good. Uh, where was I? On my screen here. So yeah, let's do that. Basically just do this. <clears throat> and then the only other thing that I wanted to show is what we do if we wanted to have like a 24 hour uh, 24 hour version so all we do is we comment out this so line 17 if you comment out line 17 um, you get a 24 hour version if you take away the comment you'll get the 12 hour version so that's basically it. Hopefully this helped. So I'll stop sharing and I'll stop the video.